Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. On this video, I'm going to be giving you my match reaction from the Manchester United Aston Villa game. So Manchester United beat Aston Villa 1-0 at Old Trafford. It was Bruno Fernandes that scored the goal. Bruno Fernandes scored his 100th career league Goal. Bruno Fernandes has been a Manchester United player for over two years now. Manchester United got him from Sporting Lisbon. Like I've mentioned, he looks a far superior player without Ronaldo in the team. Revert back to when Ronaldo was at Man United, but was struggling to get the best out of Bruno Fernandes. Uh, Casemiro, of course, played in the game. He had a very good chance. He hit the woodwork. Um, after the game, Eric Tenag spoke about Casemiro. He insists Casemiro is now back to his best. Uh, don't forget, earlier on in the season, Casemiro got, what, two suspensions and it was, it was a big miss. It affected Man United's midfield really bad. Uh, Marcus Rashford, he had some good opportunities in the game, so he was unlucky not to get his name on the score sheet. Rashford has enjoyed a very good season to his standard. He scored, what, nearly 30 goals in all competitions this season. Rashford did score in the 2-2 draw with Tottenham. Victor Lindelof had a very good game against Villa and Eric Ten Hag praised him. You know, Ten Hag mentioned he was totally in control. Uh, Victor Lindelof is not one of Man United's first choice centre-halves. But the reason he's starting games now, because obviously we've got Varane out with injury... And Lissandro Martinez is out for the season with a fractured foot. But it was good for Man United to get back to winning ways. You know, Man United should have beat Tottenham last Wednesday night. You know, Manchester United were 2 0 up in that game, and Man United let a two goal lead slip. And, you know, Villa have been very good this season. Uh, Man United have ended their 10-game unbeaten run, by the way. Um, it was the third time Man United had played Villa this season. You know, revert back to early on in the season. Man United beat Villa in the EFL Cup 4-2. Villa beat Man United at Villa Park 3-1 in the league early on in the season. That was the first time Villa had beaten Man United at Villa Park since, what, 1995. Uh, Villa, of course, were missing players. Obviously, they had no Coutinho. He's out with injury. Uh, Matty Cash is injured. Uh, Bubakar Kamara was missing. And Jed Steer was injured as well. Unai Emery is the Aston Villa manager. Got to give him a lot of credit. He's done really well since he's taken over as Aston Villa manager. Unai Emery has been the Villa manager for around seven and a half months now. Unai Emery was the one that replaced Steven Gerrard because don't forget Aston Villa sacked Steven Gerrard. One point Aston Villa had Dean Smith. Aston Villa ended up sacking him. Wasn't good enough. When he got sacked from Aston Villa, he went to become the Norwich City manager. Uh, but revert back to Unai Emery. Um, he's got a pretty decent pedigree behind him as a manager. He's won trophies. Um, he's managed quite a lot of clubs, you know, before Villa. You know, manager likes of Villarreal, won Europa Leagues with them. He managed Sevilla, won some Europa Leagues with them. He managed PSG, won trophies with them. 
He managed Arsenal. He managed Valencia. He managed Spartak Moscow. Almeria. Um, he began his managerial career at Dakar Tivo, however you pronounce it. But like I say, very good win for Manchester United. Um, it boosts our chances now of finishing in the top four. I do think Man United will finish in the top four this season. I'd say it's between Manchester United and Newcastle for third place. And Eric Ten Hag, as you all know, I am fully behind him. I believe he's the right manager for Man United, even though we have had them setbacks under him this season, but we have recovered from them well, mostly. Uh, Ten Hag mentioned the other week that Man United bounced back well from setbacks. You know, this has been Ten Hag's first season as United manager and you can see the progress he has made. You know, won as the Carabao Cup, that was his first trophy as United manager and Man United's first trophy in six years. Got us to the Europa League quarter-final. He's got us to the FA Cup final where we will be playing Man City. It's going to be the first Man United Man City FA Cup final. And obviously we're in the top four in the league. So if Ten Hag can win another trophy... Uh, the FA Cup is the only chance we've got of winning another trophy this season and get us a top four finish. I'd underline that and say that's a successful season then build from that. You know, Ten Hag is over a year now into his reign as Man United manager. He's under contract with the club until 2025. Eric Ten Hag was the one that replaced Rangnick. He's our best manager since Ferguson. Um, as you all know, Ten Hag has brought players to Man United, you know, revert back to January, brought Sabitza in on loan, Weghorsten on loan and Butland in on loan. But he didn't make a permanent signing in January, revert back to last summer, Ten Hag brought the likes of Terrell Malese in, Casemiro, Lisandro Martinez, Christine Eriksen. Anthony and Dubravka. Ten Hag has spent over two hundred million as Man United manager so far, and he has enjoyed two transfer windows at the club. Uh, on the other side of things, Ten Hag has got rid of a lot of players since he became Man United manager. You know, the summer transfer window of this year will be Eric Ten Hag's third transfer window as United manager. Um, he's looking to bring some more players in in the summer transfer window. Um, it has mentioned in recent days. That Harry Kane is Eric Ten Hag's priority. Uh, there's other players we've been linked to as well. On the other side of things, Ten Hag is going to get rid of players in the summer. He's already mentioned that he's planning a clear out and up to like 15 players could be going. Um, of course, you know the news... On Sheik Jazim and Sergin Ratcliffe, it recently said that Sheik Jazim and Sergin Ratcliffe have made final bids for Man United. Sheik Jazim has submitted a world record bid of five billion. Um, it does mention that Sergin Ratcliffe's bid values higher than Sheik Jazim. Uh, the Glazers, as you all know, have been demanding £6 billion for the club in November last year. The Glazers announced that the club was up for sale and since then, Man United have had a lot of interest. Uh, for such a long time, United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. You know, they have been one of the biggest issues at the club for such a long time. The Glazers have owned the club for 18 years and purchased the club for around £790 million back in 2005. But anyway, uh, that's all that, and Manchester United's next game is Brighton. So anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes, below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always, and take care. God bless.